Assalamu alaikum. It's time to create server side scripts with PHP. This course is designed to cover all the basics for beginners in order to get started to code PHP script. PHP initially stood for personal home page because that pretty thoroughly constrained the meaning and desirability of use the language for general use. The language now stands for PHP Hypertext Preprocessor. PHP is one of the simplest scripting languages to learn. But before you continue, you should have a basic understanding of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. PHP is a programming language made for the web, built up from the C programming language and which uses HTML like text to contain its code. PHP code are executed on the server and the result is returned to the browser as plain HTML. So PHP is a server side script which means that runs on the server and what gets visible from PHP is actually the output of the language. PHP is really straightforward and easy to get started with. It's open source as well. PHP can be used for a big successful project. Most of the internet is powered by PHP and it holds true that there are more web programmers that know PHP than other languages. A sample of companies that are using PHP today is Facebook, Yahoo, Wikipedia, Flickr, Tumblr, WordPress, Slack, Dailymotion, MailChimp and ETSY. So why use PHP in 2019? Please see the description below for more detail. For setting up the environment, please read the description where I have explained the installation process of WAM server and Visual Studio Code. This is Visual Studio Code. And this is VAM server. I have installed VAM server. And here it is. I'm using VAM server 3.1.3. And the PHP version is 7.2.4. And this is PHP my admin. And here it is at the local host, and everything is working fine. So, click on open folder and C drive VAM64 and select the WW folder. Here, I will create a new folder learning PHP. Then, open this folder and click the select folder and here we will create all of the PHP files. So create a new file basics.php and this elephant icon is showing that this is a PHP file. So this is the opening of PHP and this is closing of PHP and we will use echo to output data to the screen. So first echo I am learning PHP and at the end we will use semicolon PHP statements end with a semicolon. So save this file and for running the file we will use localhost and then the folder name learning PHP and slash and the file name basics.php. And here is the result. I am learning PHP. So copy this and paste it here. We can also use 127.0.0.1 instead of localhost. Let's write more sentences
press F5 to refresh the page and here you can see that there is no gap between these two sentences and we will use BR the HTML element for break line and here is the result Thank you very much for watching. If you want to check out more lessons like this then please subscribe to this channel and like the video. And if you have any question then leave it in comments section. See you in the next lecture. Take care. Bye bye.